Hey guys, welcome to another KSP tutorial. In the last video I have talked about the nav ball and its markers. I left an important one out purposely, which in my opinion deserves an own video. It's the target marker, which is mostly used in space. The target marker appears when selecting a craft as a target. This can be done in map mode for example. It always points at your target like so, no matter in which direction you move. Now there are two different things I want to cover before I go on. As you may already know from school, such an arrow is also called a vector. It is described by the coordinates it takes to go from the beginning to the end. Imagine such a two-dimensional space with three points in it. A vector pointing from A to B would be described by the x and y coordinates you have to move from one point to the other, which is minus 2 in x direction and 10 in the y direction. For that you can simply count the boxes. Another vector from B to C would be accordingly minus 8, minus 6. Now to obtain the third vector we could either again count the boxes or use math. The vector pointing from A to C for example would point at the same location the vectors AB plus BC pointed. This vector addition can simply be done by adding the components separately which leads to the AC vector of minus 10, 4. Counting the boxes we get the same result. Isn't that cool? Ok enough math, it's nice to know but you don't need this to play KSP of course. I just wanted to make sure nobody is confused by the word vector itself before I go on. Changing your relative speed to the target, a very important thing happens. As you can see the yellow prograde marker switches its positions. It no longer points along your orbit as it does in orbital mode, it points in an imaginary direction which can be quite challenging to understand because it's not a physical object. That sounds a little confusing but let me try to explain it. The only real vector we have is our target marker. It's an object we can see and it makes sense it points there. The yellow marker on the other hand is the direction relative to the object you are traveling. It can only be calculated and guess what? We've pretty much just done that. All we need is two different positions of our craft. We now again have two vectors as before and a missing one. So target vector 1 and target vector 2 are known. All we have to do now to obtain our movement vector is to add those up again. However, as you may see there is a little difference. One vector is twisted around and to point it in the right direction for our calculation we simply reverse it. This is done by a minus sign. A vector 1 2 becomes minus 1 minus 2 for example. That's all. A similar calculation is done many times per second in KSP and this is what the yellow marker stands for. Now what is that movement vector good for? Well, it helps to head for our target. If you manage to align the movement and the target vector, you fly directly towards your target. This can be done in two ways. You can simply burn towards it, which can be quite dangerous as you can see. The other way, which I mostly use, points in the opposite direction. Instead of aligning prograde, I try to align both retrograde markers. This is not different and you just burn in the opposite way. The neat side effect is you slow down instead of speeding up. When the target speed reaches zero, you come to a full stop relative to your target, which gives you plenty of time to reorient yourself and align the docking ports for a successful docking. This is it. Docking is really not so hard if you understand the nav ball. The last thing I want to mention as an addition is the use of RCS. RCS thrusters are great for rotating giant spacecraft in orbit and also help aiming in the right direction. However, especially on very light crafts it can be quite frustrating because your ship will not only rotate but most likely also translate all over the place when trying to dock. My tip would be to turn RCS off when docking small craft and only use the reaction wheels if you are really struggling with it. Ok, that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.